Hello guys, Furfy's Loco here, and today I went to the Dayton Trend Show. And I got a lot of neat finds, so let's so I'm just gonna show off of what I bought, so first thing is this cow car which i have two of these already like but this one like is missing the top part obviously so i have two of them one i got along the milk wagon one i got from a thrift store this i bought for the chassis in case i ever end up getting a shapeways wagon to put something on it or i find something to glue on it like to put on it or mainly just to keep as a spare, uh, to have a spare chassis on hand in case I ever need it for a project. So, yeah. Next is a wooden Rusty. Now, this I got because I'm making the Scarlowy Railway engines in their Railway Series form. So yeah, I bought Rusty just for that purpose. I already made Peter Sam, and I do have plans to do Duncan and Sir Handel. Well, if I can find extras. That way I don't end up ruining my versions. So, yeah. Just so you know, the... The... Uh, yeah, I... I have two other items that I got, which is... A take a long troublesome truck. Yeah, I mainly bought this for the face. I mean, because I like some of my wagons. I unfortunately for some is that the Shapeway store is pretty expensive. Like the stuff on like the the faces that someone makes. Whoops, for the troublesome trucks there are pretty expensive. Like. I don't really remember the prices, but they're like in the 20s range, so. I try to get, like, models like these to steal the faces off of. And I will repurpose the body, of course. Excuse me. Like the remains for something better. So yeah, and then next, like the last item. This is going to shock you. You're probably not going to believe me. If I don't show you, so. Here it is. A Nakayoshi Troublesome Truck. Yeah, this was the only one there. And I obviously had to pick it up. Didn't want the opportunity to slide. So, yeah. So, all four of these cost ten bucks. So. Uh, yeah. These were all ten dollars. So, you can say, like, I got these for, like, two fifty a piece. Yeah, the Nakayoshi Troublesome Truck, I am very happy to have. That way, I, now I have four of these. Like, I have had three of these, but now I have four. Yeah. Next up are some vintage, older like Hornby vintage items. And, no, they're not O scale. O, -O scale. They're like these. First is, I obviously picked up for obvious reason, like if I can just get the other one off. There. Yeah, it's an old Hornby tin plate GWR milk wagon, so you obviously just open it and then close it. Same thing on the other side. Yeah, I, also, I bought this because I... Collect Great Western Railway stuff. And I kind of wanted something to add to the... Oh, uh, to add to my little, like, Great Western Railway collection. And what also came with it was this 
Southern Open Wagon. Yeah, this one has both of its couplings, but this one doesn't, like it's missing its back one, which is kind of a shame. Oh yeah, I do plan to get like a little vintage, a little like Hornby clockwork engine, like one of the Oskin ones, that way I can make up a little vintage train out of it. So yeah. Also what came along with these two things, like these two, like this wagon here was 25 and this guy, the guy I bought them for, threw this in for two dollars so yeah and he also threw away for free a piece of o scale straight track so yeah maybe that way i could just like display them on it and that is the gwr one. Oh yeah Next up is a, oops, Bachman John Bull, which, if I can take the tender off, what, there, this I mainly got for the tender for a project. So yeah, I mainly bought for the tender, which I'm going to be using for a project. The remains I might just of the tender, I might just turn into some little workman's hut or a small shed. And John Bull probably just—I don't even know what to turn him into, in all honesty. Like the front part, since I did need the ten, do need the tender for a project. And it does work. The guy said it did. But yeah. John Ball, like the remains. Not sure what I'm going to do with them. Probably just... Have as a little keepsake. Or just the... Making some display piece. Or I'm not sure what to do with it. Yeah, and this little front part here bounces up and down. So, yeah, I this cost me about 20 bucks. So, yep. Oh, uh, that was my Apple Watch, in case you're wondering that made that sound. Nope, just put those there. And now on to something I wasn't really expecting to see they're like used. Let me just bring them in. Our these. So yeah, these were fifteen dollars each, so like these were like forty five, but I gave the guy there 40 for all three of these, which sounds like a very good deal because one of these goes for like 30 bucks. Oh, yeah. The first of like I have a is a salt wagon, meaning because the fact that I don't, I only have like seven salt wagons. Two of them are the same as this one. One was the chosen truck number five. And the other ones I got for my birthday, I repainted. Gray and again, like the one the Charles Chuck number five, I repainted white. Yeah, it's nice to have another one of these. Oh, I just noticed the body's a little loose. I'm not sure if it broke. It's broken there, or I'm not really sure. I might have to. look at later. Next is a cattle wagon, which I have three of these already, but it's always nice to have another one. So, yeah. 
it's on there like 15 bucks, so. Yeah, next is a Raspberry Syrup Tanker, which I'm just going to turn into, since I, I don't really see the purpose of having. I mean, I'm not sure of why they would, like, have Raspberry Syrup transported in a, in a tanker. Like, I'm planning to repaint it into a standard tanker. Like, you know how in the show there are these tankers with no logos? So, yeah, I, that's what I'm going to do with this one. Oh, yeah, now for, like, the final purchase. So, let me just get these out of the way. And let me just bring in the final purchase now. Let me, oh, yeah, I'll just bring them in. I got not one, but two GWR vans. Yeah. Reason I bought them because I don't have many great... I'm collecting Great Western Railway stuff, and these are pretty much... Even though these are from the Bachman-Thomas range, they are close enough to have for the Great Western... Other piece of Great Western rolling stock. I have. I only have like eight open wagons and a flat wagon with a container. So yeah, these were twenty dollars each, which is a good deal from like the thirty dollars they are normally. So yeah, I finally have two. I actually have. Some GWR, a couple of GWR vans. So, yep, also the person there threw this in for free. It's a 2019 book, which I do already have, but I just took it anyway. They just, I thought I just didn't let them throw it in anyway. So, yeah, that was why I bought from the train show. Now, just so you know, like, a couple things I do want to mention is, first of all, is that the video of collection video, the thing where I'm showing off all the cargo I have, all the cargo that was in that thing, it's an hour long, and I haven't uploaded it yet. I'll probably, I might try getting it uploaded, like, Sometime tomorrow. So. Yep. And also one thing I'm wondering is if you want a little series called Ask Creed. Which, if you may remember from that one video where I, Creed is that third GWR loco with a dog face. With, well, well, technically not, not a dog, a fox face. Well, yeah, the animal Creed as like fused with is a fox. So if you want a little thing where you can ask Creed questions about like what his life was like on the Great Western Railway. Well, technically Creed is my train Sona. I mean Liz Production did a similar thing with her train Sona. So I kinda wanna do the same thing with Creed. So, yeah, but this is Burfee's Loco, signing off.